Hi, I'm Lisa Barnett, and I am the founder of Akashic Knowing School of Wisdom. I've been teaching people for many years to access their own soul's guidance through the Akashic Records. I'm also the author of The Infinite Wisdom of the Akashic Records, which is a how-to learn to access your Akashic Records book. So today I wanted to talk to you about understanding your soul's plan and purpose through the Akashic Records. So did you know that before you embodied right here into this lifetime, into the body you're in right now, your soul wrote a plan? And that plan encompasses so much of what you came to do in this lifetime. So that means that before you came to earth, you wrote soul contracts to have relationships with people. You decided what you wanted to learn about and how you wanted to grow as a soul. And we often call that karma. And we certainly decided the gifts and talent that we wanted to share with humanity and our families, our community in this lifetime. And those are awesome. And those are often considered our soul's purpose. So let's jump into all of these different aspects. I'll explain a little bit about, about each of them. So soul's purpose and your gifts and talents. So imagine that you have lived hundreds and hundreds of lives here on earth as well as other planets, planes, and dimensions. That means that you have earthly talents and also some not so earthly talent. I know that there are many souls coming to earth right now who are coming to help remember and bring new inventions to the planet to help us to heal the earth herself, to bring new um, technology so that we can do all sorts of things such as clean up the planet, learn, you know, new gifts, um, really help ourselves to go deeper into what's going on on planet Earth. And so some of those talents are from lifetimes where we were more galactic, living in other dimensions or other planets. But then back to here and now, most of us have had something like 400 to 800 lives here on earth alone. So that would mean if you came as a light worker to help humanity to heal, to access awakening or access different um, purposes or gifts or talents that you've had in other lives, that means you have hundreds and hundreds of lifetimes doing something. And so let's talk about a lifetime as a healer. I know that many of you, or most of you, are light workers, and so many of you want to be healers. You may have lifetimes as an oracle. You may have been some sort of channel in numerous different lifetimes. You also may have even run an ancient mystery school or worked in the divine temples of the past, maybe in ancient Egypt or possibly in ancient Persia or Greece. There's many, many places. Could have been in the amazing temples of Tibet. So many places in the world where you could have been that wise man or woman that you were doing energy healing, you were bringing through information from your guides, from source, possibly even from the Akashic Records. So those might be some of the talents as well as imagine if you right now wanted to write a book. I had this experience when the Akashic Record Keepers asked me to write a book about the Akashic Records. And I thought, <laughs> who the heck am I to write a book about the Akashic Records? And I have no idea how to write a book. I'm not even very good at spelling. <laughs> and so I went into my Akashic Records and I said, please show me some past lives in which I was an author. 
please show me past lives in which I was an oracle. Please help me to rec reclaim these gifts and talents from these other lifetimes. And they did. They showed me numerous lifetimes where I wrote with ease, where I was a philosopher, where I was um, writing all sorts of different information about um, different things like it could have been philosophy, but it might even have been something very different like a, a novel or poetry or writing about science. So I didn't have to write about the Akashic records in those lifetimes. It was about reclaiming the ability to have that talent, to feel secure, to let go of self-doubt that I could possibly be a published author. So every one of you have hundreds of lifetimes where you have had beautiful gifts and talents, and we often have them again and again and again, because they really are part of your soul purpose. So if part of your soul purpose is to be a healer and possibly a communicator, that would mean you would have lives where you knew how to heal. Maybe you used herbs, maybe you were an acupuncturist, maybe you were a shaman. You might have done hands-on healing or hands-off miraculous type healing. So you can trust the fact that you've had so many of these kinds of lifetimes. And then imagine that not only that, you also were out there speaking and sharing. Maybe you traveled from village to village and you shared your healing gifts or you spoke about the wisdom that you were sharing whether it was about healing or about philosophy, or maybe it was really about how to create a new type of community. Of course, there's many of us who have also taught about creating sacred communities, bringing balance into our lives. So using your gifts as a communicator as well as a healer in numerous lifetimes. This is all written in your Akashic Records. So you can access that information for yourself when you learn to access your Akashic Records and start to reclaim those gifts and talents, as well as letting go of any fears or blocks. We often have trauma from different lifetimes, and that trauma translates into some kind of energetic block that is keeping you from moving forward and embracing that gift or writing that book or getting out there and speaking about what you would like to share in the world. These different types of traumas in our life really can hold us back. So if you end up finding that you're stuck and don't know why, it could be because of a past life trauma or even numerous past lives creating a complex block that is not so easy to remember or decipher or heal. So accessing your Akashic records, understanding your soul plan is a start to transform your life. Now, also in that soul plan, you wrote about other people that you wanted to spend time with. They could have been your parents. We often have a soul contract with one or both of our parents, but not always. Sometimes we pick a family because of a grandparent or a sibling, or it could possibly even be because of the family lineage more than who's in the family in this very moment. And it might be about where they live. So it can be very complicated, which is why so many of us feel like, how did I pick this family? I feel like they're a bunch of aliens and I'm the only normal person. So we write 25 or 50 soul contracts with many different people. We write numerous soul contracts to have significant partners. And it's lovely because those partners might be the person that you marry or your, um, that you spend much of your life with. They could be a business partner. It could be a best friend. And so we have soul contracts to support many, many people in our lives, as well as to learn and grow. So some of our soul contracts have karma attached. 
if you look at karma as a way to learn and grow as a soul, and this is what the Akashic Record Keepers tell us it is, this is our what our soul really desires when we come here is to grow as a soul. That's our biggest purpose in general. And so let's say you had a relationship with someone in another lifetime, and maybe it was a challenging sort of relationship. Maybe you were business partners and your business partner ran off with all the goods and ran off to another village, leaving you with nothing. All of your goods were say, um, in a carriage and they ran off with the horse and the carriage and the money and there you are penniless and alone and then in this lifetime you may partner with that person again to learn about that relationship to understand what might have um, gone wrong or what you can now understand how you can do things different and then we want to always come into that place of compassion and forgiveness for that soul who played that role in your life. Many times these souls who play these traumatic sort of um, partnerships in our life are also from our soul family. So you may have traveled with that soul many, many, many different lifetimes. And they said, hey, I'll stand up and I'll be that person so that you can learn and you can grow and you can complete the old pattern that you've had for numerous lifetimes. So as we go through our many hundreds of lifetimes here on earth, we do it all. Sometimes we're the business partner who runs off with the goods. Sometimes we find that we have something like that happen to us. But really, the point is about understanding, about bringing balance into our lives, uh, about seeing that other soul as always a very divine soul, no matter how they're showing up in the world. So soul contracts can be very, very supportive. Hopefully, we have supportive soul contracts with our partner or our spouse and with our children, but it's not always the case. So if you have um, challenges with your family of origin or your um, significant other or even with your children you might find it really useful to learn to access your soul's records or you know have a have an akashic record reading and healing session because many of us like to start with having some healing done for us and then we go on and learn to do it for ourselves because it's a profound gift to have all the time. So the other aspect of these things that come into, um, into play, bringing our gifts and talents, having these relationships, as well as it can be about our health and our vitality. And of course, often things like abundance show up in our soul's plan. So you may have been a light worker in many, many lifetimes, which means you might have been a monk or a nun or a priest, and you may have taken a vow of poverty. And so often these old vows are kind of stuck and hold us back from being the beautiful, abundant soul that we really are, that we came to be. And so through the Akashic Records, we can look at where we have vows, such as a vow of poverty. We make many different kinds of vows, which are very helpful to go back and, and clear and come to understand in a deeper way. And so as we go forward, there is so much for us as a soul to learn, to our soul's growth, to really moving forward and feeling complete about what we've done in this lifetime. And I know for many of us, this is the last lifetime. It is time to complete the old karmic patterns, to step into our amazing gifts and talents and power, and to help humanity to wake up so that we can create the new earth now. Thank you for spending time with me today.